police tape surrounds the crime scene here at the Crown Spa near Wilson and Dufferin. An active investigation is underway. One woman in her early 20s is dead following a stabbing earlier this afternoon, and two others who were also involved in the incident are in hospital. The male and female who were transported to the hospital, uh, the male is in life-threatening condition. Uh, he's currently in surgery. And the female that was uh, also injured outside that was taken to hospital, her injuries are considered serious but non-life-threatening. The woman inside the spa was pronounced dead on scene shortly after paramedics arrived. A man and woman were found outside. A, we a weapon was seized outside as well. Police aren't providing any details on the suspect or what the relationship was between all three individuals involved in this case. We know the man is in his late teens and the other woman is in her 30s. Police do say they found a laceration type injuries on the victims. A woman working across the street from the spa witnessed some of the aftermath and shares what she knows about the business. We just saw a woman sitting on the street beside the mini mart and she had blood on herself on her gray sweater and they were wrapping both her hands in some gauze. Obviously they'd been cut or something and then uh, when she got up you could see like her whole sleeve had been cut and it was just drenched in blood so how she was involved I have no idea. And it's been open for a couple of years now and you don't really see much going on especially during the day but it's we know what it is. Everybody knows what it what is. What is it? It's, it's a, a massage parlor. It's legal or illegal? Oh, illegal, 100%. Go on their website. You'll see how illegal it is. Are you surprised to see something like this happen here? Or what's your at that at that particular spot, it's not shocking. No. Now at this time, Deferin is blocked off completely from Billy Bishop and Wilson, and police do say that they don't believe there is a threat to the public right now. But they are asking if anyone has any footage or information of this incident to contact police.